oh okay i'm about to give y'all a nice little a little a little review a little review all right <clears throat> so i don't know if y'all have seen this or not on uh netflix but there is a show called uh midnight mass now midnight mass is a pretty interesting show um it's a limited series and this series is based i'm going to say it's like eight episodes or so i i finally got done watching all of it and i'm gonna just say like right now i loved it i had such a good time with this movie but and there's a big but i have to warn y'all on a couple things first so some of the so just the basic premise let me give you the basic premise for midnight mass um you have a very small island with maybe a hundred plus people living on this island and their priest their catholic priest goes off to jerusalem um but you know he's old he's tired he gets injured sick whatever he can't come back so the vatican uh sends like another younger priest uh this guy right here uh they send him back to the uh to the island uh to talk to all you know to basically be the priest in uh as a substitute now this priest is like a little mysterious very charismatic like basically there's something going on with this priest but you don't know it's just weird it's just something a little off but of course they get into that um but you know you also get into all these other characters um and you start to learn about all their backgrounds and stuff like that now here's what i need to warn y'all about first of all you're gonna hate this chick because she is annoying i don't like her somebody need to smack her don't like her that means she was a great actress because you really will not like her she man listen don't like her but what i wanted to warn y'all about because this was the one thing i did not care for too much it's very heavy with the dialogue and exposition you're gonna have characters that talk for a long time and they will talk about exponent you know like like metaphysical things they'll talk about a lot of different you know they'll talk about death they'll talk about relationships they'll talk about all these different things right but the warning i have to kind of tell you guys is because it's eight episodes it's a it's a contained story there's a beginning and there is an end um the first two episodes are super slow i'm letting you know that i'm letting you know that right now they i was about to quit on the third episode i was about to be like i'm done with this but the third episode the ending kicks it up a notch then you get into the fourth episode kicks it up another notch and then you off to the races you off to the races because then it just is like yo what is this stuff going on but the reason even though it's slow in the beginning even though it is slow in the beginning um all of it is important why because what it's doing is it's building up the characters it's building up the stories um because at the end of the series all of those things will wrap up all of those things will have meaning so when they sit here and talk about this person's background with i don't know addiction you know uh, alcoholism whatever that stuff it might seem boring now but it'll make sense and pay off later so that's the real heads up I wanted to give to you. Um, my re the, now, of course, you already know I went to seminary school. You know, I'm, I love horror movies. This is horror plus religion, and not just Christianity. It's horror plus religion. Um, I, I think the other warning I would try to give people is this movie, or I'm sorry, this show does not prove or disprove anything about religion so it's real easy let's say for example you are an anti-theist i'm not saying an atheist someone who just doesn't believe i'm saying someone who hates religion you against religion and all that right if you're an anti-theist this series does not prove why religion is so bad if you're super religious right uh, so you, you, hey, you the Bible thumper, you the, you the whoever you, you talking about whatever God or, you know, spirituality you believe in to a stranger on the street. This also does not prove anything either. Right. So, um, you can go, I would advise that if you watch it, you watch it with an open mind. Um, it's not meant to change your mind or anything. And the one thing I would say, if I had to like really analyze this is 
This is more of a critique on the human psyche. Um, a lot of the things that they talk about, a lot of the things that they interpret, a lot of the ways that they go about things are just human. It's not about, well, this religion made them do this or this non-belief made them do that. No, 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 no. This is just human beings and how human beings act. That's why a lot of the character development in the early beginning matters. So I wanted to kind of give that to you guys. If anybody was interested in watching something a little different, um, I was able to blow through it in, in like maybe four days or so. Because like I said, the first two episodes were a chore. But later on, it does pay off. Um, I don't want to reveal anything else. I will just say that things will not always turn out the way you think they will. I th Every time I was sitting there, I was like, oh, that going to happen. Oh, y'all went there. Oh, okay. Well, then that's what's going to happen. Now. Oh, y'all change it up. Oh, listen, watch it. Let me know what you think about it. That's my quick little review for Midnight Mass. If I had to give it a rating, I would probably say... And this is biased because I love religion, obviously, and I studied it for years. So I would probably give it about like an eight out of 10 um, just because I thought the story, the direction um, was really good. It's a little gory, by the way. So if some of you are a little squeamish, it's a little gory. There is like blood, you know, a little bit of guts here and there. It's a little violent. Um, I wouldn't say it's scary to the point where it's like jump scare scary. Um but it's more so eerie. It's more eerie. Um, but yeah, it's not going to like try and, you know, like scare you real hard. It, it, it'll just have more terror in it. So anyway, that's my quick thoughts. If you have seen it, let me know what you thought about it. Um, I'd really like to, <laughs> I'd love to see if anybody else actually saw it and what y'all think about it. Um, but I did want to kind of give y'all just a quick little review on midnight mass if you're interested if you like the 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 religion and horror side like if you like horror movies and religious stuff this is it i listen i thought this was nice uh but yes thank you so much my man Derek. It sounds like the show evil it's kind of like that it's kind of like evil um and you know i like evil i love that show evil matter of fact i'll probably go watch some of the episodes right after this uh, thanks for the reminder um it's kind of like that but a little bit more mature uh, with the content um but it's and it's not as comical because you know evil doesn't take itself very seriously all the time right like there are comedic things in this ain't no comedy in midnight mass like it's a it's a drama horror through and through but anyway uh thank you so much appreciate you so much for that let's see let's see Rhonda, what did you say here uh is it as gory as squid games Kind of, kind of, because, you know, Squid Games wasn't, like, super gory, but kind of. I mean, you know, like, people get cut, blood comes out, stuff happens. Yeah, you know, like, it ain't nothing that's going to make you lose your lunch or nothing, but I just want to give a heads up because, you know, it is, it does contain that stuff, and some people, you know, just need that prep. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. I love a good thriller. Yes, I think that this will be something very interesting. I just wanted to say that, like, again, don't give up in the first two episodes. If the end of the third episode does not capture your interest to keep watching, then you can give up. Um, but make it at least up to the third episode, um, because that's when they start to reveal more stuff. You start to see more secrets and more truth and that's where stuff really starts to get interesting. So, um, again, I like to see what y'all think uh, when you eventually get a chance to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.